have you been doing for this quarantine? Have you been working out? What, what kind of things that you've been up to since the, since the quarantine kind of took off? I think like everyone else, we've kind of hit like a wave of like this, this either you're productive or you're like, I'm just trying to survive, you know? Um, but I think in the beginning, it was really just adjusting to the new norm and um, not, well, no, I think moreover in the beginning, it was just like understanding the magnitude, you know, um, trying to understand what the media was putting out there, whether it was being grandized, was this like conspiracy, is this really happening, you know, in America and all over the world, you know, so it was really just trying to get a grip on reality and what was, you know, preparing yourself, uh, people running, you know, all over the place. Um, sorry, I'm right now. Um, so throughout the, throughout the quarantine, I found myself kind of just, um, taking a moment I mean in the beginning it was like okay the money situation like all right figuring out you know um, how to survive and then the employment thing hit and I was like okay like something you know the stimulus or whatever and after a while I kind of just um I needed to ground myself so I've been doing a lot of meditation I'm doing a, a, I've been doing a lot of like yoga I'm just trying to stay active you know I'll go for a walk around my block or I'll go you know, work out with one of my close friends in her garage, you know. Um, I've done painting. I've read multiple books, you know, audio books. I'm just trying to like keep keep up, you know, like regardless if the world is kind of stopped right now, I don't want that to necessarily stop me, you know, um, physically, mentally, spiritually, you know, all that. I'm just kind of trying to stay. Yeah, and on that, I've been kind of doing the same thing. I've been using this opportunity to actually learn new skills, come up with new ideas, get get more creative. Because normally when we were going day to day, we were just day to day routine, Monday through Friday, come the weekend, you kind of trying to get excited for the weekend, then come back Monday through Friday again. It's, it's weekend, week out, day in, day out, you're kind of on the same, also the same ground. So some of the things that you kind of wanted to do, you didn't get the opportunity to do it because you, you couldn't find the time or you just didn't make the time. So now the quarantine has been a blessing in disguise. So it's actually given us the opportunity to tackle some of those things that we didn't have the opportunity to tackle, read some of those books we haven't had the opportunity to read. So what kind of, what's to say you read a couple of books, what kind of books were you reading? Well, since you've been out I'm really into self-development books um, most recently though I was um, I was referenced this book it's called Outwitting the Devil and it's by Napoleon Hill um, that was a very interesting read my dad actually gave me another book um, by Napoleon Hill called Think and Grow Rich I'll read that. And, um, so I have that ironically enough my dad gave me the book and he's like don't take it if you're not gonna read it and I was like I'm gonna read it and I never got around to reading <laughs> but there was this other book you know outwitting the devil and a friend of mine was like yeah you know you like this book then read this one and so I checked that one out and um, honestly it, it helps to add perspective to your life so much so that it, it, it shifts narrative that we live by you know um, it expands your mind and just makes you see the world in a different light it'll take away certain fears that you might have or you know limitations that you put on yourself you know so um, once upon a time I heard if you wanted to hide something good like put it in the book yeah. and it's crazy growing up I was a great student it's just I didn't read like that I could read as far as like popcorn reading you know I could read the whole with with charisma too you know so it's not the issue that I can't read it's just I never had the patience to sit there long enough <laughs> to read a book you know so I turned to, to yeah. um, audiobooks and audible that really helped me out until I could get to that point of consciousness and awareness. Yeah, I've been having this uh, yin and yang tug and pull when it comes to the audio books because I'm more of an old school reader. I like to flip the pages and fold back the pages when I get stuck on a book or put a bookmarker in the book and kind of reminisce and kind of go back. But with the audio books, I couldn't really get into them. I've tried to listen to one and then I'll listen to it and I'll stop it and try to start back. And it just doesn't kind of, it doesn't resonate enough with me as if I was reading because I feel like I can comprehend it a little bit more. And I could be just old school with it a little. A couple of my friends, they tell me they've, you know, kind of blow through the 
audio books a little bit faster, but I, I feel like when I read the book, I can retain the information a little bit more than when I hear it. But it's on the flip side, when I listen to podcasts, I kind of retain the information a lot easier when I listen to podcasts because that gives me, I say, oh, I take it down. When I'm listening to it, I actually open up my phone, I make a note of something. So then when I actually finish watching this, when I finish listening to the podcast, I can go and research it and look at it and look it up and kind of get a little bit more of the tidbit. But when it comes to the audio books, I just haven't gotten to it yet. I might try it. I might have to get back on it. If somebody can give me a great recommendation on the book to try, I might just do that and see if I can just get through it. Because, you know, sometimes it, it could be just the person who's reading the book, too. I think that could be a big issue, too. Some of the books I've read that I didn't quite get into the person who was actually doing the audio portion of it. So it kind of made me not as interested. Uh, because when I'm actually reading a book, my imagination takes off. So I'm, I'm picturing what the people are writing and the scenarios that they're putting in, and, and especially some of those like the Napoleon Hill books or some of those other uh, those those books like that with self development. They kind of give you scenarios and what people were doing, and some of the, and then you can kind of envision it in your mind what they were, what they were, what they were doing or what you're trying what they're trying to get you to see. So that's why I've been a little bit more into the, the old school reading and turning pages. I might just be a whole fossil, but they're just one of my things. And like you said, in the beginning. I wasn't a big avid reader you know I read magazines I read articles and different things like that but now in the age of social media we have to be able to go and do the research ourselves because you'll hear something and because a lot of people are living through memes and depending on where those memes come from nobody ever really knows where the memes come from you just see the meme on your, on your timeline and you're like oh I kind of relate to that but you don't know who's funneling it to you so you have to take that for, as, with a grain of salt and take that and then go and do a you know a leg further and go do your research right get some credible sources and things like that so when you've been saying you've been at home and exercise with your friend what kind of exercises have you been doing have you been doing like more running more cardio um, kind of a little lifting weights or what, what have you been doing what you been up to oh man uh, me personally, I don't do too much cardio or running because I'm already slim, so I'm trying to like bulk up, you know what I mean? Um, usually whenever I'm at home, I will do something with a resistance band or stretching, um, yoga. Like I said, I'll go on a run around my block just to kind of keep my, my body warm. Um, but when I go to my friend's house, you know, she and her boyfriend are like fitness dudes, you know, they got the whole setup in their garage, so we go ham in there. She is just as petite as I am, but she be lifting, like, you know, and so she's, she's definitely like my, uh, my little personal trainer. That's, that's essentially like the scope of what I'm doing. Like we'll do, we'll target certain areas in our body. We'll do weights. A lot of it is weight lifting, um, you know, just core strength. Whenever I go with her, it's usually uh, weight lifting. And me personally, you know, before, mm -hmm. before the virus and before the pandemic, I would go and work out here and there, but with the kids, I just couldn't find the time. It's like, I'll work out for three or four months straight and kind of go, you know, three or four days out of the week. And then something will happen, you miss a day here, you miss another day, that turns into a week, that turns into two weeks, and then you just kind of fall off. And then the pandemic hit, and I'm like, I'm not going out there and work out. I don't like, I'm like you, I don't like to run. And I mostly like to like lift like weights. So I try to stay, you know, try to stay stronger, but I've been trying to, talk myself into doing more like in-home workouts because you see all the people posting their workouts and doing push-ups I'm just like the end of the world's here I'm, oh, no. I'm just not finna start no push-ups right now I'm just it's just not in my it's just not in my thing but I, I kind of get out with the kids they kind of make me run around so I take the kids out to the park you know I let them run around I run with them so I can get some type of cardio um I went to the half moon bay last week we got out and I ran with the kite so that kind of gives me some some exercise I can run like that as far as like I'm active and doing things like that but as far as like oh I'm gonna go and run two miles it's just not my thing I'm not <laughs> at all I'm not at all and uh with this pandemic um I see that a lot of you know a lot of the other states are a little bit further ahead of us and they're opening back up you know we're still on like the 72 73 days of being locked down they kind of start opening up a little bit but as you've been seeing some of the the other states open up and seeing some of the people out and about what have been your thoughts and your concerns on some of the parties that's been going on how do you feel about that i feel a plethora of ways <laughs> um i feel like we can really navigate around society if we were just a more careful people 